How's it going guys, Bainey here and welcome back to Facebook Ads for Beginners. In today's video guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a prospecting ad and why we set up a prospecting ad is because when we're running ads for an e-com store, we might be just using a lot of conversion ads and when you use a lot of conversion ads, Facebook only shows your product to a very small portion of people because they're the only people likely to convert. So sometimes when you're doing conversion ads non-stop, Facebook will limit the amount of people your ads can see because it just doesn't really have enough data from the rest of Facebook. It's only just targeting a small group of people. So what we want to do is we want to spend depending on what your daily budget is, probably about only five to $10 a day, and we wanna set up a prospecting ad, and, and I'll show you how to do it now. It's basically, it's just a either a conversion ad, but instead of optimizing for purchases, we'll optimize for view content, or you can do an engagement ad, a traffic ad, reach ad. There's multiple different ways we can do this, and the idea of it is just to get fresh, cheap clicks into your pixel for one and into your website. Some of them might buy if they buy it's bonus, but we're really just trying to feed our pixel data that it hasn't seen before because usually we're, us usually we're running conversion ads and we just want to open up our data set, I guess is a good way of putting it. So today I'm going to show you how to set up that. Before I get into it, guys, if you're following along and you like the content I put out, hit that subscribe button for us. It really helps my channel grow. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And uh, let's jump into today's video. So very basically, what we want to do to set up a prospecting ad is to just either pick a conversion that's going to get very cheap traffic to our website. So it can either be traffic ads, it could either be a reach or a conversion ad optimizing for view content which is what I have set up here. So this is my prospecting ad for this account. Let's just have a look at what it looks like. It's a conversion ad and it's, optimi it's optimizing for view content. So it's gonna get very cheap people to my website and I think it's getting like 10 cent clicks or something like that. Yeah, one's getting 73 cent clicks. These two are getting 10 cent clicks. So very, very cheap people to the website. I did mention earlier, not many of these people will buy, so it's a bonus if they do. What the idea of this is, is just to feed the pixel more fresh data from a wide range of people. So it's just not looking for the same people over and over again. Let's go ahead and set one up. We wanna to go to create. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do a traffic ad. So you can either use brand awareness, reach, engagement traffic, you know, whatever's gonna get you the cheapest clicks. You can obviously test it out. Conversion ad is the one I just did then, optimizing for view content, you can try that. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use traffic because I know it will get cheap traffic to your website. So go to continue, just name it. Prospect, uh, I'll leave that as is for now. Just go over the ad set level. Come back here and just copy this. You want to change this here in a traffic ad. You want to change this to landing page views because you will get very cheap link clicks if you optimize for link clicks, but very few of those people will actually wait for the page to load. Don't ask me why people click on stuff and not wait for the page to load, it's just what people do. So that's, that's just make sure you do that. Landing page views, Yeah, I leave all this blank. Uh, come down here and set your budget. You probably just wanna do $5 a day to be honest, you don't wanna go crazy. Even if you're spending $200 a day, $5 a day, five to $10 a day on a prospecting ad is really all you're gonna need. Start it straight away. Don't set an end date. Custom audiences, what you could do here is you could exclude anyone that's visited your website before or have interacted with your Facebook page. So you could, if you wanted to, you could exclude web, Instagram users, Facebook users, all website visitors, you know, purchases, initiate checkouts, add the carts. These are all custom audiences you, you would have built previously if you've been following my course. So yeah, that's excluded. So you just want fresh, new people that haven't seen your ads before, haven't visited your website. And that's a good way to do it is by excluding people that have already done that. So this excludes people that have seen one of your, your ads on Facebook. This excludes people that have seen one of your ads on Instagram. Like I said, if you follow my course, you would have set these up previously. If you haven't followed my course, there's a link in the description, guys. It's a full Facebook ads course for small businesses. It's completely free. Uh, all the videos are on YouTube, there's 60 something of them. Check out the link in the description, there's a whole playlist. You can just work through them one by one and learn how to run Facebook ads for, you, for yourself so you don't have to pay someone thousands of dollars a month to do it for you. Being said, let's, let's pick an audience. So this is selling candy. I just wanna pick 
very broad audiences. Sometimes it's pretty slow. The candy, oops, chocolate, cake, chocolate cake, uh, bakery, desserts. You know, this is a prospect in ads. So you just want random. You just want engaged shoppers. You want fresh people in here. You could even throw some, you know, Nutella clothing. You know, you you pretty much just want random people into your website so it just broadens your pixels data your pixel at the moment is if it's just running on conversion ads what it's doing is it's pretty much looking for the same people with the same data points which don't get me wrong is good it's going to find people that are going to buy your stuff but after a while you're going to start running out of those people if you don't keep feeding fresh data into your pixel from something like a prospecting ad and that's why you only spend five or ten dollars a day you don't want to overwhelm the pixel with $50 a day worth of these traffic prospecting people that aren't really going to buy and they're just taking out there, it's chilling through your money. So, five, ten dollars a day is fine. Feed your pixel fresh data, it widens its range, so it gives it more people to look for, sort of just the same set of data points. Uh, expand this, why not? This will reach even more people. Leave all this as is, we'll go to the ads. So we obviously pick your Instagram page and Facebook page. And what I want to do is I want to use an existing ad. And I've just, so I'm not creating ads from scratch. I've pulled up some ads and I'm just going to use the post IDs. If you don't know how to grab the post IDs, it is video 30 of my Facebook course. So head over there and watch that video. That's, that's ad one, and because this is a prospecting ad, so it's going to get really, tr uh, really cheap traffic. I'm probably going to get, you know, a thousand impressions for like two, three dollars. It's really cheap. So what I can afford to do is I can just put, you know, three or four ads in here. So what I'll do is I'll pick another ad. So that gives my, you know, not only does it look for new people, but it gives them a few different ads to pick from and obviously Facebook will spend more money on the ad that performs the best. You could put pretty much, if you wanted to, you could probably put 10 ads in here to be honest because traffic will be so cheap. I'll show you how cheap it is in a second. I wouldn't worry too much about the naming conventions because these are just prospecting ads so they're not too fancy. Make sure your web, web events are on. So they are being tracked. Yep. Yep, so let's have a look, look at what it looks like. So set up a prospecting ad using traffic campaign. One ad set with multiple interests. You want a really big audience. And then you could really put as many ads as you want. You could put 10, 15 ads in here if you want, if you've got heaps. And then after a month or something, turn off the ones that perform very well. And just to give you an idea of how cheap the traffic you get when you're running prospecting ads. Here's the one I'm currently running now. And the traffic is $3.49 per thousand people reached. So this is my conversion ads here that are optimizing for purchases. And as you can see, it's nearly three times more expensive. Same as up here, nearly three times more expensive. Retargeting ad here is four times more expensive. So you're gonna get really cheap cost per thousands, which is, it, that cost me $3.49 for, for my ad to be shown a thousand times. Traffic ad will probably be cheaper that, probably $2.50, $3. Because it's so cheap, it just allows you to put as many ads in here as you want. And if one ad only gets, you know, 50 cents a day, they're still reaching 500 people. So it's pretty good if you've only got two ads and put two ads in there. So very basically, I'm not going to I'm not gonna pu publish this ad because I've already got a prospecting ad going, which is this one. But yeah, very quickly, guys, that's how you set up a prospecting ad to help broaden your pixels data range, I guess you could call it. Hopefully it all makes sense, guys. If you've got any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it and I'll see you on another video.